Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, please. Declutter your life. Remove people, places, and things that only add more mess than clarity. Allow people to do nice things for you, and there is no light without darkness. At the bottom of the deck is rewind. Rewind. <laughs> So maybe, I don't know, there could be some like memories or nostalgia that's coming through Scorpio. Maybe you're rewinding back to a particular time, situation, conversation. Okay. Uh, gaining some sort of clarity. So let's see why Declutter Your Life is here for Scorpio. Well, it could be because you're coming into a new season, a new chapter of your life. We are literally moving into a new season soon. Um, and of few weeks a couple weeks and we'll be moving into summertime so maybe there's a need to declutter people places and things mindsets behaviors bad habits especially if you step into this new chapter of your life okay scorpio uh tell me about declutter your life some of you could be moving tell me about declutter your life the hangman and the three of swords so basically decluttering and removing anything or anyone who has caused you heartbreak heartache depression strife turmoil and the hangman here so we have um pisces energy You could be feeling a little like if things are feeling stagnant or stuck in your life, Scorpio, with the hangman here, maybe things feel like they're at a standstill, at a pause. It could be because you're needing to declutter your life. Again, people, places, things, a mindset, a behavior, a bad habit. The world card. I'm telling you, you're stepping into a new chapter, into a new cycle. And it's time to leave all that old stuff behind that no longer serve you that cause you nothing but pain um there could also be something about like power imbalances taurus leo scorpio aquarius with the world you've learned the lessons you needed to learn you know um the death card scorpio There's, there's something or, you know, something has really come to like a, a it's a final end here. I'm here. I keep hearing the word finality, finality or something. Maybe it's very hard or sad, painful even to maybe get rid of certain people places things okay maybe you've held on to these things for quite some time but spirit is saying it's time to release it's time to let go it's time to shed certain things or people places away it's not going to serve you in your new chapter in your new cycle could be dealing with another scorpio You're going through a, a major transformation at this time in your life. Some people just, some people, some things cannot go with you on this new journey, Scorpio. There could be people or things that weigh you down heavily here. Make you feel overwhelmed. Like you're not moving forward, but only moving backwards. 
heavy of like full of uh, responsibility, heavy with responsibility here. It's like you, you're needing to release something that's weighing you down. A person, a place, a thing. Five of Cups. Something about allow people to do nice things for you, for Scorpio. The Eight of Swords. Some of y'all are like afraid of people doing nice things. Or maybe like you go, you start having like anxiety. Like why is this person being nice? Why are they doing nice things? They must have a hidden agenda. I get it, Scorpio. I get it. As a Scorpio, I get it. <laughs> After maybe going through so much, right? Or dealing with people who do nice things for you, but then there's strings attached to it. It can get you in a space where you're in the Eight of Swords and like, uh-uh, why is this person doing nice things? Now there's worry. Now there's fear. There's anxiety. There's a bunch of thoughts running through your mind and usually negative thoughts with the Eight of Swords. ace of cups scorpio i love this um energy that's coming through here because this is definitely confirming again a new beginning new cycle new chapter that is opening up for you whatever this new cycle this new chapter is there listen of course it's life and for the rest of our lives on this planet we're going to be coming across people who are not nice people who are assholes you know what I'm saying? We're going to be coming across people who have hidden agendas. It's the name of the game. That's never going to end. We're not going to live in a life full of rainbows, butterflies, and nice, lovely people all over the place. That's just not reality. But I will say that in this new chapter, this new beginning that is opening up for you, Scorpio, there are individuals, maybe more individuals than in the past, who you're going to come across and ha they're going to be very loving, very kind, nurturing, people who have huge hearts. These are people with heart chakras that are open and ready to receive love and, and joy and nurturing and happiness themselves. These are people whose cups are overflowing. They're abundant with wealth, love, joy opportunities these nice things that are being done for you Scorpio I feel like are absolutely a gift from the divine with the dove there and I and it's definitely because you ten of wands you've had to carry a lot of weight or responsibility for other people situations it's time for people to do nice things for you, Scorpio. It's time to, allow, I don't care if it's a random stranger paying your, you know, you're in the drive through and the stranger in front of you is paying for your coffee. Or, you know, you're waiting, you're at the supermarket and like, you're like, oh crap, I forgot my, yeah, I forgot cash or my credit card. And all you're buying is maybe a couple of fruits or a cake or something. And the person behind you is like, no, don't worry, I got it. And you're just like, eh, why is this person being nice? <laughs> it's time to not restrict yourself from having people do nice things for you, Scorpio. Maybe your your heart chakra could be a little closed off due to past experiences and and it and it could be a little closed off or, you know, it's like restricted there because again, the past experiences and um fear, it's fear is what it feels like, Scorpio. Fear of, okay, well, if I open up my heart and I allow this person to do something nice for me, are they going to throw it in my face? Are there going to be strings attached? Are they going to want something from me? 922 on the timer when I said that. I don't feel like that's the case. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like those, those are thoughts that could be going through your mind here. And that's where your discernment comes in, Scorpio. That's where your intuition comes in. You've been working on that discernment. You've been working on that intuition. That's why you're moving into the next level of your life, the next chapter of your life. So, um, you know, use that discernment. Use your intuition to really weed out the people who are coming in 
just to have strings attached, just to get something out of you versus the people who are doing something because it's coming out of the kindness of their heart because that's just who they naturally and truly are. Temperance. Scorpio. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like temperance is an angel in tarot. In this deck, there's, this temperance does not have wings, but I feel like this is a spirit guide, a spirit guide coming through and taking all the negatives that you went through and turning them into positives by bringing in these blessings. There's harmony, there's peace that's coming in and that's being restored, Scorpio. You could have been doing a lot of nice things for people and it was just weighing you down, keeping you stuck, keeping you stagnant. And, you know, getting to a point where maybe it was hurting you with the Three of Swords. Maybe you did feel some sort of disappointment and pain that came with this because it's like, damn, you know, I'm always, you know, and it's not that you should always look at it or that's not what I'm saying is that that's how you look at it, Scorpio. Like, oh, because I'm doing nice things for people, you know, nice things should happen for me too. That's not what I'm getting here or what I'm picking up. But it's kind of what I am feeling. It's like, you know, maybe you always felt like you were the one always doing nice things for people. And when it came to you, all you were getting was pain, disappointment, uh, burdens, stagnancy. It's time to put yourself first, Scorpio. And I do feel like you have a spirit guide or your angels who are kind of assisting with this. They want you to have peaceful, harmonious, loving connections. They want you to have people meet people, come into connection with people who are going to do nice things for you because they know the type of person you are, Scorpio. You could be a healer to other people. You could be very calming to people, helping people uh, with their issues their differences their problems and just justice scorpio this is justice 12 23 on the timer you could have sagittarius in your chart cancer pisces um or you could have a cancer pisces scorpio or sagittarius who could be coming towards you to do something nice this could be one of the people because I don't feel like it's just one person it's definitely multiple people you're going to be experiencing this with multiple people whether it's people you know people you don't know <clears throat> give me one more for allow people to do nice things for you knight of cups You have someone, Knight of Cups, someone who's very sweet, charming. This could be romantic, doesn't have to be Scorpio. It could just be a friend wanting to do something very, very sweet for you with the Knight of Cups. You know, maybe somebody wants, like I said, maybe somebody wants to pay for your coffee. Maybe somebody wants to buy you coffee or breakfast or, you know, Knight of Pentacles. The devil. But then there it is. It's like, what, what strings are attached to this offer, to this opportunity, to this money, to... And I don't feel like it's that's the case. Are there people who may be trying to come in in the future to do that? Yes, absolutely. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Could be a Capricorn, heavy on the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, doesn't have to be, but it, this is going to be that person, the Knight of Pentacles, the devil. I feel like that's going to be somebody who's going to be very slow to give. That's how you're going to know the difference between people who are doing nice things out of the kindness of their heart and people who are not people who are doing things out of the kindness of their heart are just going to do it because they're following their heart. They're not going to take their time and evaluate, or I don't know what, what that felt like with this other person with the Knight of pentacles and the devil was somebody who is slow to give quick to take with the devil there, but slow to give with the Knight of pentacles. Not this energy. This is somebody who just, or people who just follow their heart. They do nice things because that's who they are. It's pure. It's genuine. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. 
could be a new friend or a you know a new a, a romantic partner. Tell me about this Knight of Cups, the Devil. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The High Priestess. The Knight of Wands. And the Six of Wands. The Page of Swords. So this is kind of like the same message that I just got, Scorpio. You're you're going to know, High Priestess, who's coming towards you with genuine, pure love, doing nice things out of the kindness of their heart. And you're going to know who's coming towards you doing nice things, being loving for their own benefit, for their own gain, manipulation, okay? Um... People who may be just wanting to come in, wanting some sort of attention, validation from you, wanting to get their ego strokes, wanting to boost their egos. Page of Swords, you're gonna, you're gonna suss it out. You're gonna sniff it out. You're gonna those those red flags. Your antennas are gonna go up here, Scorpio. So, like I said, you have good people coming in, and then you have people who coming in with the agendas, with the strings attached. Be careful of people who are inconsistent, in and out. People who are trying to like move things too quickly or some of you have a secret admirer here also. You have somebody who's like obsessed with you, who's wanting to do something nice, but I don't know, I'll be, be a little aware of that person. But you do have some sort of secret admirer here, Scorpio with the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who may want to do something nice for you. I don't know. It kind of feels like maybe they want some sort of validation from it or something. They want to they want to be seen by you. They want to be recognized. So, I don't know. Mm. Okay, so it's all about using your intuition, Scorpio. But I do believe that there's beautiful new connections coming in. Yeah, two of swords, the devil blocking out any... <laughs> Negative, toxic people, people who are trying to stay codependent on you or trying to keep you codependent on them by doing nice things. The wheel of fortune is here. Things are turning in your favor. There's um, good fortune, good karma. I feel like also like fated and destined connections coming in. Yeah. I feel like you definitely have people upset about some sort of change that's going on in your life. People from the past, six of cups. The Magician, the Five of Wands. <laughs> the Magician, the Page of Pentacles. All right. This kind of reminded me of the reading I just did before this. All right. Tell me about there is no light without darkness. Justice. So maybe you had to go through that darkness, Scorpio. You had to go, you know, deal with people who maybe took advantage or overwhelmed you or overburdened you and... You have to go through this experience or through these lessons in order for you to come out into the light, in order for you to experience the light, the light meaning um, healthier connections, more loving connections, nurturing connections, genuine people. So balance is being restored. Justice is here. You have Libra in your chart. The Magician. This is crazy. The Magician and Justice just came out in the reading I did before this. Okay, so definitely go check that out if this is resonating for you, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> Wow, and the Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Yeah, that, Scorpio. This does not have to be romantic. It very well could be, but it doesn't have to be. There's beautiful relationships coming in. Stable, harmonious, peaceful you and pe you and someone or people on the same wavelength on the same page with one another you get each other eight of cups walking away from the disappointment 
the peop the people, places, and things that no longer serve you, where it's no longer emotional emotionally fulfilling. The you know people, places, and things where you may be filling up all the cups and they're depleting you. The mag the justice and the magician card is crazy. Gemini, Virgo, um, and Libra here. I feel like this also taught. Mm. Give me one more here. The Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. And the Three of Wands. So, you're, you know, ships are coming in, Scorpio. There's expansion, opportunities coming in. You could be scared of, uh, Scorpio, there could be some fear. Some fear about the things that are coming in, especially if it has to do with people. C new connections. You'll be going back and forth like, mm, do I trust this person? Mm, let me do a little more research. Six of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Generosity, charity, support. It's coming in, but this is the fear. It's fears of the, the strings attached. People doing things because they want something out of you or because they want to hang on to you, keep you attached or connected to them in some sort of way. Um, whoever this is, you could be decluttering someone like this from your life or removing someone like this from your life. And uh, this person could definitely be feeling the disconnect or they're going to be feeling it. So, yeah, this is basically saying everything I just said about what you had to learn here. The lessons, you know, Ten of Swords. You could have definitely felt betrayed, stabbed in the back because it's like, you know, I'm always doing right by people. I'm doing something nice. I'm always offering help or, you know, keeping, putting myself on the back burner to put everybody else first. You could have been, you know, somebody who was a people pleaser. But it feels like you're very much standing in your power at this time, Scorpio, learning the lesson and manifesting in new things, new healthy connections, healthy friendships, um, oppor healthy opportunities. So, yeah, the, the cycle was difficult. It was painful. You've seen people's true colors. You've been, you felt betrayed, hurt, stabbed in the back, deceived. And um, you're manifesting yourself out of this darkness or you have manifested yourself out of this darkness. Let's get some extra messages here. <clears throat> Extra messages for Scorpios, please. Scorpio. <laughs> I'm so sick of this card coming out. Envy. They're a life with not too many friends. Um, oh, it says a life with not many to no friends. Use discernment in friendships and repeatedly encountering envy in life. This came out in the last message I just put out. So you could be decluttering, removing people who are envious. Okay. Um, for sure. Legacy. Achieving great things and abundance. Your purpose is to leave a legacy. Living the highest quality of life. Okay, so um, there could have been a friend or somebody you were connected to here who was envious of some sort of legacy you were building or the fact that you were achieving great things in your life and having abundance, living the highest quality of life. And this is why somebody could have been trying to like weigh you down or keep you stagnant. It's like, well, if I just do this to keep Scorpio slow or if I just distract Scorpio to keep them stagnant, you know, draconian, money hungry and manipulative, adept at fitting in like a chameleon can unite people to work together. So, yeah, you know, there are definitely some manipulative people, but I feel like with this justice card, you have, like I said about the discernment, you have the gift of discernment, you have the sword, you have 
the ability to see through people in order to have healthy, balanced relationships and cutting away those who are envious, those who are money hungry, those who just want something from you, your time, energy, money, resources, lost. Your soul is asking for change. Phase of self-discovery and creation, a time of confusion and feeling lost. That could be that moon energy. Scorpio, maybe you're feeling a little lost when it comes to these new people or people doing nice things for you. I don't know. Or you're coming out of a time of feeling lost. Well, there is no light without darkness. <clears throat> what else? Failing mission, struggling to find purpose in life. Mission feels impossible to complete, not living to your full potential. Hmm. But I feel like some, if this is you, Scorpio, I feel like this is changing. Like you could have been feeling lost, confused, or like you were struggling with your purpose or failing to complete whatever mission it was because of what was burdening, burdening you, who, what, where, how, whatever, whatever was bringing this pain, this, this tension, this burden. I feel like this is what you're letting go. Whoever this is that you may have may, may be having to remove from your life at this time, Scorpio could be people or someone who is feeling lost, somebody who is, you know, failing their mission right now <clears throat> because they're refusing to do the work and maybe putting it all on you to stagnate your life out of envy. Mm. Source of lights, source of light and positivity to others, achieving personal growth and wisdom. Your inner strength inspires others. So you are the light, Scorpio. Creative, an inborn tendency for creativity, finding your creative passion, making a living as a creative. At the bottom of the deck is connections. Fostering meaningful friendships, you thrive through your connections, living life with an open hand. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some signs for <clears throat> who you may need to declutter from your life and who could be coming in to do something nice. All right. Who is, uh, who needs to be decluttered from Scorpio's life at this time? Saturn. Could be a Capricorn. This could be somebody who's definitely going through some sort of karma right now. They're feeling restricted. Um, like life is, it's a lot of tough love right now for them. Going through a lot of difficult challenges. Somebody could be going through like their Saturn return. New moon. Um... So this could be somebody that you were dealing with around the new moon, or maybe you talked or had a conversation with this person around the new moon. Something could have, you could have gained some sort of awareness or something around this time frame, Scorpio. Taurus, so this could be a Taurus that you're needing to remove. First house, Aries, and fifth house, house of pleasure, Leo. Okay, so who is it that um, could be coming in to do nice things for Scorpio that is genuine? Okay, could be a Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, or Pisces. We have immutable signs here. It says the philosophers, flexible, open-minded, uh, adaptable, resourceful, detail-oriented, North node. So these are individuals who are in their North node, Scorpio, people who are in uh, their purpose, who are confident in themselves. It says true North soul purpose, destiny, life purpose, spiritual life lessons, key to keys to happiness and fulfillment fortune. A lot of purple here, purples and pinks could be significant as well. Give me a little more on these genuine individuals waxing crescent moon so something about the next wax, waxing crescent moon could be significant in regards to um this where it says allow people to do nice things for you it says take action steps manifest hustle forward movement favorable time to start something new sign contracts or make make big purchases 
we have Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo with Mercury. Okay. And something about contracts is definitely significant. This energy was also coming out in the last reading. All right, let's get some. What do I want to get? I guess we'll just get a fortune oracle to close it out. Can I get a fortune oracle for Scorpios, please? Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Number nine, your birthday could be on the ninth. You could be a life path nine at the bottom of the deck is proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Okay, so something here about um, a contract, a proposal coming in, a business contract or proposal that may be coming in for a lot of you. For some of you, this could also be a proposal of a relationship, commitment, marriage, but I'm feeling more so business stuff here, Scorpio. All right, let's read about it. The magnificent eagle flies high above the ground and is able to survey all that is below and beyond. Similarly, you will be able to look at your challenges and see the whole picture as never before. With the gift of clear, keen vision, and the freedom to achieve your hopes and dreams, like the eagle's sharp talons, you will be able to grab hold of your destiny. Do not hesitate or else you will miss your chance. Strength, power, wisdom, and courage are yours when you fly with the graceful eagle. You may be recovering from trauma or bad luck, been indecisive or making the wrong choices. That is all going to change. Believe in the eagle's power and you will soar. Obstacles will only bring you closer to your goals. Be confident they will remain within your reach as you glide towards your destiny. This card also represents spiritual protection. Legend says it says it is the eagle that carries your prayers to heaven. Be reassured that the eagle will impart much spiritual knowledge to you on your journey and can help you feel connected to your guides. In regards to personal relationships, whether romantic or platonic, a relationship that has been troublesome will either re resolve itself and grow stronger or you will decide to let go of it. And it seems like you're letting go of it. The eagle's power can also make you more charismatic to the opposite sex. And your easy strength may attract many new suitors. In regards to career and money, take a major leap forward in your progress. The potential to achieve greatness is yours. You could land your dream job or gain extra money from a pay rise, job offer, inheritance, or lucky win. Your charm on the work front may also help you snare that deal. Or you may finally receive recognition for past efforts. Power tip. Proudly place an eagle on your desk and derive strength and courage from this amazing creature. Mm. Mm. Love it, Scorpio. If this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Wishing you so, so many blessings. Until next time, bye.